most war machine of the evil Nazis throws the dark shadow of Europe as the beast of Berlin schemes at world domination. But Mr. Hitler wasn't reckoning on our brave boys. All over this fair land they march in step, and they'll soon be off to give Barry Bosch a downtrodden thrashing worthy of any British boarding school. Yes, a swift kick up the Kai will soon Kai Bosch all of Henry Hun's plans and give aid of the jolly good knee to the groin for its trouble. It'll only be a matter of weeks before Dunkirk is avenged and our boys will be busting into Berlin, boffing the Bosch on the bonds, and be back home before you can say... Damn it, this place! I can't believe and do this anymore, Governor. It's a busted flush. My guests are wrecked. From skin, my head hurts. And it has got us on our bleeding knees. Come on, Governor. Who are we bleeding kidding here? Snap out of it, Withers. Pull yourself together, man. The nation's counting on you. That sort of sodden lie. A lie is just the truth in drag. The public have a right to know the, the truth. The public have a right to know the reality they want to hear. Uh uh Not till you finish. Why me, anyway? Look, our casting director happened to be in the dog and pony that night you got up for that talent show. I wish I played and had it now. And despite being a third-rate vaudevillian with a tendency to ham outrageously, you happen to be a superb mimic and produce just the tone we were looking for. Yeah, well, blind luck, I guess. So, we've kept you from the front, my boy. Drafted you into the new Ministry of Persuasive Information and now a nation hangs off your every word. Well, just look at all the stories that have fed off our newsreels. No. Not anymore. I'm done. I'm sure you still need rent money. A little something for a drink. Do it for your king. Jerry won't know what hit him when Tommy goes marching in. Our lads will be sure to give them what for in the land of the baguette and brioche. said I'd never make it. I was never good enough. I could have gone to the front lines, but they wanted me here. That's what, what, what have you done? I've got a purpose now. I'm saving this nation. The people out there, they need me. Not like you. I even got a little bit of money. And I brought hope. Faith to this country in a time when they needed it. If I did go out to the front lines, well, those Germans, 
They wouldn't know what hit them. Even Churchill needs me. I've got the Germans on the run. Have you forgotten about the live broadcast today? Churchill's going to speak after you. No. I said I'm done. Forget it. You're an actor, aren't you, Withers? And this is a paid gig? No. Not for any money. I'm not sacrificing my integrity. I'm misleading the bleeding nation. It's misbleeding information. Getting the best reviews of your life here. But since you're so hot on the truth being told, I suppose I could always go to the national papers with some of your old reviews for them to publish. Come on, Governor. There's no need for that. Oh, I don't know. The public has a right to know the truth, don't they? Some things are better left out. Oh, let's see. Overblown. Underdone. Florid. Turgid. Lifeless. Oh, here's a good one. Withers simultaneously manages to both paralyze and smother the audience into a somnorific coma of disinterest, apathy, disbelief, and abhorrence. Shores of Blighty and those white, white cliffs of Dover. Yes. They'll soon be in Berlin to give Adolf and his chums a swift uppercut, while the British Empire marches triumphantly ever onwards. Well, 
all done with us. Capital stuff. All for king and country, sir. Yes, quite, quite. King and country. Goes nowhere, goes nowhere. 